Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. Today we're going to learn about digital makeup for videos. I recently worked on a project where I needed to retouch video. I needed to change someone's appearance. So I turned to a company that I had uh, dealings with many years ago, Digital Anarchy, with a product called Beauty Box for Video. And uh, they're uh, President Jim Cherney, who, uh, when I was working at Adobe, we went on this uh, tour together and they showed their product. I was showing uh, Premiere Pro and After Effects. And what their product does is it retouches video. It smooths skin and it automatically masks and recognizes the face. So if you want to check out digitalanarchy.com, you can check out Beauty Box. You can download a trial version and use it and they've got some examples. One thing I want to caution you about, look, I spent a ton of time as a retoucher in the 90s, a, a photo retoucher. And the one thing that I found that people, when, when they did not know something was retouched, they just took it at face value. But when you showed people before and after, then they got this little bug in their head where they said, well, now it looks fake. Well, it didn't look fake when I showed it to you. So what I think is important is for you to remove any prejudice you have after you see the, revolt, the, the result removed. Only look at the first result, because I guarantee you, you've seen Beauty Box in commercials that you've seen and movies and television for years, and you didn't even know, because no one is stopping like I am and showing you before and after. So I've already applied it. Now I'm going to show you um, uh, in a split screen a difference, okay? So I'll, I'll use the comparison view, and I'm going to compare the same uh, shot by shot, side by side. And right now it's the same effect on both. So if I turn Beauty Box off, then you'll be able to see the difference from there to there. And I'm going to zoom in. Oh, I can't zoom in. But let me enlarge this a little bit more and you can see the result. Now in this example, because her hair, a lot of her hair is the same color as her skin, it did pick up some of her hair and I could have uh, further masked manually on top, but this is the default setting. You can see looks absolutely amazing. So let me start this from scratch. I'm going to remove Beauty Box completely. And I do have a Lumetri um, color going on in here where I'm just bumping this up a little bit. Okay. Now, go to my effects and there's Beauty Box. Oh, no, that's my preset. There it is. So that clip is selected, double click on it, and it shows up in my effects controls panel. I'll just close everything up to the default settings in here. So there's a smoothing amount, smoothing detail and contrast, and a, a, a mask effect that we're going to, to uh, tweak this mask in a, in, a, in a second. But all you really need to do is analyze the frame. So watch. What happens when I click Analyze the Frame? Boom. Yeah, wow. So I have GPU acceleration on, so Beauty Box is completely GPU accelerated, but you don't need a GPU. It's just going to be faster if you do. So let's look at these settings. Um, at the top, we've got a smoothing amount, and if I turn that up, a lot, it smooths even more. If I turn it down, it smooths less. So if you want a more subtle look, in this example, we want a glamorous look. So if it does glow a little bit more, it's it's appropriate for this. Um, this is the skin detail smoothie. And this is, I will, oh, I am zoomed in at 200. Let me zoom in at 400%. So I'll reset both of those so you can see. So I introduced that there. And the skin detail smoothing. 
So if you go back the other way, you're actually adding more uh, problems that weren't there to begin with. So of course, when you crank that right up to 100, then we've got that kind of look going on. I'll reset both of those. And then the contrast enhance. So when you turn the contrast down, now the contrast will change accordingly. So let me get rid of all those. I'll reset those and open up the mask. So this is the area where we can tweak this. So remember, I just clicked on analyze frame and you can see it, it showed a dark color and a light color. There's also eyedroppers you can click directly in uh, on the person's face. And by the way, you can be doing this in After Effects too. It's the same plugin that works both in um, on Premiere Pro and in After Effects. So we can tweak this setting. Like I said, I had a little issue with the fact that many of the colors in her hair are also in her face. So to tweak that, you can show the mask. And now we're going to see where the auto mask uh, looked at things and we can tweak some of these settings in here. So um, if I take this setting down, it's going to get a little chunkier. And I think it's a little easier to click once in there. And if you use the up and down arrow, you can uh, make this a little easier to, to change. And then in this value here, I'm going to start taking this down. So believe it or not, that is, uh, I found a much better um, setting for this. I'll turn the mask off. And for this, I had it set to 3181 and 95. So this gave that glowing kind of effect. So there's before and there is after. A remarkable difference, uh, looks fantastic, and it's following the video. So this isn't a still image. When I play the video, it's following along, and you can see the, the lights in her eyes, they're still crisp, they're not blurred out, her lips are still crisp. All those parts that, that are supposed to stay in focus are still in focus, yet she looks so much better. Here's the other thing that I use this for in uh, a following shot. It wasn't her face, it was her hands when she was actually reaching in and grabbing the product. And because there was no face to recognize, all I did was copy the settings. I just copy paste attributes. I've got a tutorial on that. Copy paste attributes, Boom, it cleaned up the skin on her hand too. Looked fantastic. So there you go. That's one example. Let me show you another example over here. Same thing. We'll add digital anarchy. Analyze the frame. Let me close that mask up. Analyze the frame. Boom, just like that. And again, I, I went in and tweaked this a little bit. So this was... 26, 36, and 25. And for the mask, I'll show you the mask in here. So for these settings, I set this a little bit tighter to three and four and eight. So now when I turn this on and off, you can see the hair colors is, is different from the first example. So it's isolated this more in that area right there. So of course we're zoomed in at 400%. So if I drag that, go back out to 100% and we look at that. And remember it's video. So every frame is retouched and her skin looks fantastic. Same with the first example. The difference is remarkable. So that is Beauty Box for Video from Digital Anarchy. Thanks to Jim for uh, supplying that so we could show everyone what this looks like. It's a fantastic tool to have. If I'm a videographer, if I'm someone who's producing videos, I'm gonna have this in my bag of tricks because the cost of this plugin is gonna pay for itself because I'm gonna offer this as a service. By the way, if you would like digital makeup, live digital retouching to your video, we do offer that. You don't tell them how you do it, you keep it magic, but you offer that as a service and you can tweak it. If you're doing a lot of corporate videos, let me tell you, a lot of executives love to look beautiful, so 
men included. So uh, you just add this to your bag of tricks and to offer this as another service on top of what you do. All right, so if you're new to Video Reveal and you found this informative, take a moment and subscribe. You want to support us some more, you can do that through PayPal. We love our PayPal donors. They don't need Beauty Box because they're already so beautiful. Oh, yeah, I said. All right, till next day. Oh, by the way, there's a link in the description and on the front of the channel if you want to support us through PayPal. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith, and it's my job to get you looking your best, whether it's real or virtual.